Hey guys, so I thought I would do a little update here with what's going on. Um, so in October, I did have an eye surgery, which was a result from all the treatments for my eye condition. I developed a cataract, so I had to have that surgery. It's, it's honestly all the steroid use and all the injections that I had to have. It's just your, your eye's reaction. And it's unfortunate that the methods that I had to use to prevent my eye disease from worsening caused other things and complications that required surgeries and other treatments. It's just how it is. So I had that done. I did have complications afterwards with my eye pressure and I hemorrhaged during my surgery. I've had issues with uh, vitriol hemorrhage probably since last December, so it's been over a year that this has been going on, and I never really got the full feeling of how my vision would be after surgery just because it was blurry right away. And then I developed the, um, it's really common, it's called a secondary cataract, it's essentially scar tissue that forms on the lens implant. It happens a lot. It happened with my other eye with the surgery, so I had to wait three months pretty much to the day to have that lasered, and unfortunately, once that was done, I could not tell any difference because of the amount of blood and debris that's still in my eye. So after meeting with my doctor again, kind of discussing options, he decided that probably the best plan of action right now is to do a vitrectomy. This is a surgery that I've been really dreading doing just because it is very invasive. They essentially remove all the vitreous, they take any debris out, anything that's like on the sides of your eye that is obstructing your vision. Take that all out and replace it with saline. And rather than how they would do this with a retinal detachment where they would put a gas bubble in the back of your eye to, to, just to stabilize your retina, he's going to be putting an air bubble in the hopes that that will prevent further bleeding while I'm healing. And also because my lens implant is so new, he wanted to make sure, you know, nothing was pushing against it. So that is scheduled for... January 31st, which is this coming Thursday, and I'm pretty freaked out about it, but the, um, the thought of actually being able to see clearer is worth it, and I really hope that this is, you know, part of a, a journey to having vision back, because pretty much all of 2018, I've been blind. I haven't been able to do anything independently. I can't drive. I can't, you know, read. I can't do the little things that you take for granted in life. And I really just want that back. I want my independence. So I have been pre-filming a bunch of videos, but there are certain things that I probably won't be taking part of, like some of the unboxings. The groom would definitely do the Loot Crate unboxing by himself because he has done it before and I think he's not comfortable but he'll tolerate it and I'll probably stand off camera and just make stupid comments just so he's not alone. But um, I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know if this is going to fix things or if it's going to make things worse. We just have to wait, but this is why I haven't been really live streaming at all or, you know, doing things by myself. It's really hard and I do appreciate all the support and all of the well wishes. You know, I can't thank you enough. That's amazing. but. I'm also looking forward to watching subtitled movies. So there's so many that I feel like I missed out on and re-watching things that I couldn't tell what was happening in the background just because it's so dark or, you know, there's subtle movement that I just can't, I can't see. So, yeah. Just positive thoughts. 
That's all we can do. But, you know, just wanted to give a little update here. And uh, hopefully we'll get the best outcome we can get. But it's about a two-week recovery, so we'll see how it goes. I have to do the first week when I'm only when I'm sleeping. I have to sleep face down, which is going to be actually horrible. And I'm just going to take Benadryl because I can't fall asleep on my stomach because that's uncomfortable and stupid for me. I'm a back sleeper, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for everything and love you. See you soon.